Aid into treachery. What do we steal now? Ill got inheritance or Piper of the Swarm. Has to be ill got inheritance. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good Devon and Bishard. I'm going with these two. I think this guy stays on boxer. He could steal our Aiden treachery now. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's not gonna do much. Gain two life points. Uh, this card is Steam Vents. Ooh, this got a Scholar of Ages. Ooh, okay, perfect. And return the Scholar of Ages. And return Knive. Return Bond. Oh! I've done it! I've created the most evil deck. Never was no, I didn't just say that. The only time well, I said it, the only time, but now it's truly evil. It's Inferno! <laughs> I come. I scared my neighbors. Oh my god. And still have the voice changer on. This deck is pretty amazing. This is reanimator, but I feel like reanimator with Fires of Invention is 10 times better. It's so good because if you can play two reanimator spells on the same turn, it's usually it's good enough to just swing the game around and win. And usually the problem with these decks is that you can like play one reanimator spell every turn, and that's usually not enough. Like if your opponent has a fast deck, if there's a Nissa, if there's some way of uh, getting a lot of stuff done, you can easily get overrun, but when you can get two things done, it's almost impossible to overrun this deck, it feels like. And we have some pretty good early game also, because we have Rick's Marty Reveler to draw this card, two man Lich to get things in the graveyard, and all the signs. So we have some pretty decent early game, honestly. In the late game, we have Alien Treachery, we have Broxet, and then we also have three Scholar Rages, so we can just return our reanimated spells again and again and again. And remember that since we have Fire Sword Mansion, we're gonna get two reanimated spells. So one can just reanimate the Scholar of Ages every turn, get back our Blood for Bones every turn, and the other spell can reanimate something else, like an Alien Treachery or Dark or something. And that's pretty strong. That's strong enough to uh, deal with most things. Yeah, that's pretty much deck. Let's just jump into each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a decent time. It's not amazing. Uh, Blood for Bones without a creature to sacrifice is... Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Done this. Yes! Okay, per perfect. I'm gonna do this next turn and put down the temple. That's amazing. It's probably gonna be another fire deck. This is a weird fire deck, but... I mean, fires... To be fair, I love fires in one way, because it makes jank viable. Because playing two cards... It's so crucial. If you can play two cards that are impactful at the same turn, it makes all the difference. All the difference, must say. Must say, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Temple of Epiphany. Oh, do we take another land? I don't think we do. No, no, no we take another land! Nah, we gotta find lands. We gotta find them. We gotta find them. We're gonna haggle. Haggly daggles. I thought it would have a counter ability. Countering our haggle. No, it did not. Scholar of the Ages is down in the graveyard. That's perfect. Everything is prepared. Plan is in motion. Opt. It's not super good. I mean, Scholar of Ages is good, but it's more late game good than Scholar of Ages in these types of decks. Initially, it's not that good, I must say. A Fabled Passage. Opt in a fire stack? That doesn't seem right. Is this uh, Timur Reclamation? No? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Let's see what this guy is all about. That the merchant of the veil. He doesn't know that we have blood for bones, but he could probably guess that we have blood for bones. Okay. Now then, I think this is pretty good. Put this down. And we blood for bones. Because we're gonna get Blood for Bones back anyways. Uh, we return Scholar Raiders. And we return Merchant of the Veil to our hand. And we return Blood for Bones to our hand. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we can't kill it, but we just return it again. Doesn't matter. Pretty much needs a deal with this, I guess, if we want to get rid of it. But now we have a pretty interesting border. We just need one of our other targets. That's pretty much what we need, okay? Deals with it. <laughs> Let's see, okay, let's reanimate. Doesn't matter. Okay. I think we're just gonna use this to try and find... Can I concoct? It's not the worst. It's n simply not the worst. Because uh... that can find us something else. So I think I do this. 
I do Royal Science with zero. I draw this card. And let's see, we discard. I can discard this because we're gonna get two cards back anyways. Now we surveil with the concoct. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Perfect. I can put all these three down. Twink, twink, twink. Uh, and now we take the alien judgery. And I think we take over the Kraken Drake. That's probably gonna be the best one. And then we can just Blood for Bones next turn. Back to Skull. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I love it. I love it. Okay. Iron Greg Pirate Monster. Iron Greg Pirate Monster. Oh, wow. Now you have a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know if you realize, but you have a lot of them now. A lot of them. A lot, a lot, a lot of them. Well, it can. Oh, what's go for? Royal Science, probably. Or does kill these? That's not super good. Nah, Royal Science. Has to be the Royal Science. But now we can kind of get our business going here. Now we can Agent Treachery start stealing his stuff. Zero. Boom. Let's go. And. Oh, we have to choose one. Okay, well, unfortunately, it would have to be this one. That's not exactly what I wanted, but sure. Iron Cry Power Monster. We can deal three damage with the Merchant of the Veil. We want to. Or we can return nothing from our graveyard. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we do this then. Uh, we put that down for zero. And we draw this card. Uh, I guess this can go. Oh, no, no. Why didn't I put down the Scholar of Ages? Oh, that's that's actually very bad. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, put down this. It's perfect. Decide what we need. Go with this. Boom. We got it. Finally got it. Uh, but I should have so discarded this. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. Those discard. Let's kill now. Merchant of Veil, probably. And Treachery is not super good to kill. Yeah. That, that's probably bad. In all fairness, that's probably bad. Okay. Now then. Now we do Rick Smalley Reveler. Revelus. And we discard this. And let's see here. Three damage or something. That would be his face then. And then... Let's see here. We blood for bones. Yeah, because else we can't get back the Aiden so... Have to blood for bones this. And let's see here. We return the Aiden Judgery. And Merchant of the Veil to our hand. And I think we steal this now. <laughs> okay. Now we go in with this. Yeah, this is a never-ending loop. I don't know if you realized, but... Oh, yeah, okay. We also drew three. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet, I must say. <laughs> Dirty Peggy! Think you're in trouble, mister. Think pretty much whatever you do, we're just gonna steal every card you play. Yeah. Doesn't really matter what it kills. Okay. Start going for the face. Look smarty. Agent. Not really good here, okay. Kills that, goes two. That's... That it? Is the dirty peggy? I think you're done in this town is what I think. Oh, we gotta show him that he is indeed done in this town. In this town. In this town. <laughs> you are my bro. We'll be our next opponent. I'm gonna speak like this. I had a little bit of a sucker before this, so... Might be a little bit tipsy. <laughs> no, no, I did not. Give this. <laughs> this is the most sober voice ever. No, no. Isn't it funny? Whenever you're drunk and someone asks you, Are you drunk? Why can't you admit that you're drunk at that moment? You're like, No, no, and you take offense if someone say that you're drunk. N are you drunk? No, no, I just had an entire bottle of vodka, but I did not get drunk from that. Not even close to drunk. <laughs> Not even close. Well, I think it is. 
particular case, uh, two-man lich has the advantage of actually being a creature. We can sacrifice for the blood for bones. Do you have something? Uh, 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 the thing which counts is unless I pay two? No? What's that card even called? It's called that card which counts is unless you pay two. <laughs> the official name. Okay. It's gonna be another fires deck. No. Wow, we get mashed against this a lot. Interesting. Maybe because we have Royal Science, and usually Royal Science are in this deck. Yes, that's why. Okay. We got our answer why we got mashed against this. <laughs> okay. Well. And that's what's gonna help, Mister. Not much. I think he's gonna scoop. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion this is gonna be quite good. Okay. Oh, we'll do this. And you know what? We, we can do this. Take by this. And let's see here. Agent of Treachery. And back with this. Do we start stealing his land? So do nah, we steal this. We steal this. And uh, let's see here. Do we draw this card? Yeah, let's draw this card. We don't need <laughs> we don't need a royal science. We have yours. <laughs> we don't need another one. There's no use in having another one. Okay. Does he also run reanimated spells though? I don't I doubt it. I doubt it. Maybe it does. No, no we can't, because it doesn't run black. We are we have such a good matchup against these types of decks. I love it. Okay. The, the good, good old Zero Four. Good old Zero Four. Well, Sacrifice this, and what do you know? We're gonna return it also. I'm gonna take over the fear band. And let's see here. We'll draw this card. My plan is okay. Well, there's nothing too, too exciting. Guess we throw away this. The counter on there. <laughs> Didn't even think about the counter. Uh, I guess we actually put down this. We kind of need something else here. Something else but what we have. Uh, Royal Science we already have, so that can go. It's down tapped. And passed on. Who? Yao Mebello. Wait, we can? If we pay the Spectacle card, instead discard your hand and draw three cards. That's actually pretty good. We can probably get that. I thought it would buff this, but it did not, okay. Oh, it wouldn't have been enough, it's only plus two, plus zero. First Dragon Trample, that's actually a pretty good ability, man. Moshe, Moshe. Well, what you can do here... Hmm... Hmm... Could draw this card. Hmm... I think we're going with the two-man Lich, and we're going with the Fairy Vandal for Royal Science. I think we'll do it like this. I think we do it like this. Because now, even if it blocks with Crackling Drake, it's still... No, it doesn't still die. <laughs> I don't know what I... I don't know how I uh, used my brain there, but I didn't use it in the correct way. But yeah, sure, we <laughs> can do this. <laughs> okay. What's gonna block? Aiden Treachery. Coming in there. Fairy Vandal gets blocked. Oh, he's gonna buff it up with enough buffing power. This guy seems to have way too few uh, non creature spells. Oh, maybe. Double shock. That'd be what he has. Good old three for one there. That's pretty good. I actually have four for one because I took it over. Okay, let's see here. Discard a card. I guess we discard this. Can we pay this for the spectacle cost? I wonder how that works. Cast with the spectacle. Yeah, let's cast with the spectacle. Boink, boink, boink. Ooh. Ooh, another uh, blood for boners. That's actually amazing. Okay. Blood for boners. Is that the correct word? Yes, that is. That is what it's called. We already have a royal science. I don't feel like taking royal science. I'd rather take a land. I'm land, I guess. Oh, wait. I should maybe have saved the land. So now that won't matter. Spectacle. Think about the spectacle. Need to think about it. Draw this card. Okay. Opt. Well, it's very good that we run the Royal Science so that we get mashed against this deck, which is probably a very good matchup for us. I don't think the algorithm has really any clue what this deck is. I think it's like. Frack. <laughs> what are you even playing? 
Well, I'm not gonna tell you. Um, I get. Okay, just get. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! Golden doink? What does the doink refer to? You ask. Does it refer to the snake? I had to crack it. It might. Might very well do that. <laughs> serious. <laughs> serious. This is my serious face. He's nodding a little bit and then browse a little bit down like this. <laughs> Someone tells me about something, an accident or something. I do this. And I don't respond. <laughs> For unknown reasons. Uh, we're gonna keep the fires, of course. Golden doink. Oh. Blue, white. No, fires are actually. Well, <laughs> this might be good for us, or it might be terrible. We'll see. Depends on how fast of a start he has, I guess. That's a slow start. Anticipate. He's gonna find his fires. Gonna find his fires. Okay. Interesting that he runs this in a fire stack, if it is a fire stack. Oh. Oh, he did not get the lamp. <laughs> Golden doink! <laughs> well, the end chatter is gonna go. Uh, oh, the drug is up! Or the drug is up! Oh! The sish I think Aiden Treasure is better in this case. Since we have. Uh, if we had the haste thing, I would have definitely gone for the drug set, but now. Drug set. Can we get drug set? Can we please just get the Sir? Sir Drog is done. Sir! Drog set, sir! Oh! For the mine news. Uh, good choice, I guess. Good choice. Royal size not super good right now. <laughs> this also not super good. I can attack in the Narset, I guess. I don't need the two. Actually, what I can do, I can actually kill Narset. I put this down, I can buff two Malnich. And that's actually somewhat decent, I would say. Because we don't want to deal with the, the Narset. And now we don't need to draw this card, right? Yes, because it's only players. There's combat damage to a player. Yes. Perfect. And then hopefully we'll find a land next turn and we'll start concocting. Concocting. Is he, is he gonna bounce this? Or probably. Probably puts this down, bounces the two-man lich. Because now he knows I have the power the lich. The power lich is with me. Not with him. Oh, bounce that. That's even better. That's actually pre smurt uh, we'll do this then. Draw this card. Okay, that's another Aiden of Treachery. Hmm. Do we uh, put down Double Fire's Invention? Man, I would so love to find a lander. I think I'm not gonna attack into Teferi. I'm just gonna gamble on finding a lander. Come on, land! Ah! While Roxeth goes. Uh, okay, did not find the land. Okay, put down this. Okay, I, I think put down too. Right? Have the doubles. Ah, oh, the land! <laughs> okay, now he has five. Now he can go for his fires. Probably. Or? He doesn't? Oh. Let's see, okay, Kashmir. Oh, it is it my deck? With anticipating it. Ooh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Hmm. Hmm. We can still steal Kashmir, though. We can concoct. Or we can draw Kazeth. Oh, man, if we draw Kazeth. Uh. Uh. Yeah, we still need to draw this card, I guess. Still missing the land. Are you kidding me? How can we not find the land? <laughs> Frack! Well, go face. Come on now. Gonna block with this. <laughs> no I need the land. He knows it. The bastard. Oh, he knows I need the land. Oh well. We can put this down, I guess. Draw this card. Royal Science. Sure. Land! Yes! A little bit slow, but... Uh, we can put it down. Tapped. Concoct! Yes! Uh, 
this goes down there. This goes down. We keep the blood bonds on top. And then we take agent treachery. And do we now also steal the Kashmina? We could also go for a land there. Kashmina is pretty good though. And it, yeah, it probably has. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this. Because I think what he's gonna have here. I uh, will we'll do uh, this guy also. Focus on what matters. Shmink. I think what he's gonna have is uh, Sarkin. Probably. Draw Sarkin. Now we have a pretty decent board. Now we kind of need to deal with the board. Pluses. I have a plan. Which is fine. Because if he has a board repair, that's also good for us. Because then we can just con concoct back the Aiden Treachery and steal one of his lands. Then he can't play Sarkin. Probably. Oh, snap. Well, he kind of needs to go in for the, for the Royal Science when I think about it. He needs to plus this go in for Royal. Yeah. Because else it will go off. Badunk. But now we can kill Sarkin. We can kill pretty much everything, yeah, sir. We can steal Sarkin even if we want to. Do we want to steal Sarkin? We probably want to steal Sarkin. So I guess. I guess we do this then. We concoct. Oh my freaking gooners. Is that a good good series of cards out on top there? Yes. Uh steal. Steal you, yes. <laughs> that was a pretty good draw. I mean, we didn't draw many lands, but man, did we draw good other cards. Oh. Duelist! Man, maybe I should play some Pathfinder. I actually feel like playing some Pathfinder soon. It's a pretty good game. Pretty good game, I say. I haven't played it in a while. Um, it's this keepable. Two lander. What have you said about two lander? But now we have two ways of discarding, plus this. I think we're gonna find our way here. I think we're gonna find our way. There's so much drawer. Oh, yes. Uh, we'll go for black with this thing. Go for black, then Rick Smarty, then Tombbound, and then. Uh, let's see here. I feel like this is the new way of reanimating, honestly. I mean, why not put it in Fire's Imagine? It hasn't hurt us a single time, I feel like, when we put it in Fire's Imagine. It's, like, it's only made the deck better. Ooh. Pepper the Swarm. So we can steal creatures with that. There's a lot of. A lot of mana investment, but then I can steal something. Okay, Aiden Treachery goes down. And uh, let's see. Next turn, two man. Can I start producing with this? Ah, yes. Needs a lot of them, though. Let's see. I sacrifice three rats. That's a lot of rats. Don't mind me saying, there's a lot of rats. Wow, now we've actually found too many lands, I feel like. Okay, put down this. Going with the, go in with this. We can't steal his pipe with one more, yes. Oh, it has menace. Ooh, we can actually deal one damage. <laughs> one crucial point of damage. That's not what I expected. Well, he knew that it had menace. Let's play this card before. Because I certainly did not know that. Okay, put on this. And I think. I think we go in with both, honestly. Just pressure him a little bit. Not doing much there, just sitting around with an ill gotten inheritance. Okay, blocks there. Oh, there's a something there. Okay. Oh, now we have the reanimator spell. That's amazing. We don't need other fires. Unless he has. <laughs> Unless he has a way of getting rid of it, I guess. Um, oh, now we can concoct also. Concoct the alien treachery. No, we can't. Close. Very close, but we don't have it. Okay. Put down this. Oh, what a pickle. Huh? We put down this. In the grave. Now we have double reanimate spell for next turn. Double reanimate. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And now we can steal his ill-gotten air dance also. Okay. There's another rat. Oh, he's prepared. All these menace rats. <laughs> slowly. Slowly dealing with us. The absolute slowest fashion ever. Okay. Now, though, mister, now, I think we can declare you. I think we can declare you down in this time. We're gonna see. Nah, not that good. So, I think we lead off with this. Concoct. Because you might find something that's juicier than what we already have. 
Uh, we didn't find anything juicier, but we did find another bond of revival. Which I think we're gonna keep there. Agent of Treachery. What do we steal now? Ilgot Inheritance or Piper of the Swarm? Has to be Ilgot Inheritance. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good, Devlin Bishide. I'm going with these two. I think this guy stays on the boxer. He could steal our Agent Treachery now. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's not gonna do much. Gain two life points. Uh, this card is Steam Ants. Ooh, this got a Scholar of Ages. Ooh, okay, perfect. And return the Scholar of Ages. And return Knife. Return Bond. Oh! Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? While we're playing against a weird deck here, but. But still. Okay. Still has Pontic. This guy just has everything, doesn't he? <laughs> just a little bit of everything. A little bit of da -da -da, a little bit of Jessica in my life, a little bit of Rats in my life, a little bit of Pitiless Pontiff, a little bit of do -do 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 -do. We could just connive the uh, Piper of the Swarm when I think about it. We don't need to go through the troubles of uh, doing anything else. I'm sorry. <laughs> Done! No Discord outlet. Only Fires of Mansion. But we go first. We gamble on finding an out. A Discord out. It's very good if you find a Discord outlet. But if you don't, I, I, we're gonna get. <laughs> I say we're gonna gamble, and then I don't gamble. That's just how I roll. <laughs> That's just our role. Apparently, that's our role. I think we ship the Rick's Marty. Ship the Rick's Marty. We find an island. Uh, this is probably gonna be better. I mean, if we didn't draw the draw this card, I would have been so sad. I would have just been like, this card. We didn't this card out. You know how I how I become when I don't find my cards. I'm cranky like a small little babe. I mean, I I, I, I can't say no to another one. Can't say no. Simply too good. Edge wall in keep. This could be a weakness of the deck. We don't really have any board sweep. I guess. I guess uh, the dragon is a little bit board sweepy. Uh, the agent of treachery. Yes. Going down there in the graveyard. It would be sweet to find a blood for us though. Not gonna lie. Three manas. Grimrock knight and draws a card. That's actually pretty sweet, can we just block my 2 mana here? And a love stroke beast. Get a 1 okay. Ooh, that's actually affirmation. Now we can steal his lands! I think stealing the lands is the best thing we can do, yeah. We could steal the edge wall but it's not gonna do anything. If we can steal the red source here, it's probably gonna shut him down pretty good. Uh, yes. And also it enables us to play our own Bond of Revival, if he somehow gets past this. And he can't attack in now. So, this should be good. Because if he attacks in, we can just block with Alien Treacher and just return it. Okay. Thus, anyways, that's not super good. But sure. Oh. We'll do this then. He can't attack in with this again. He can't kill my Alien Treacher. Because then he just keeps repeating this. I don't think he wants to do that. Probably not. Ooh, he still keeps doing it. Well, you can't go in with this. Or... You're gonna go in anyways. The best blocker <laughs> in this game. Aiden Treachery. Because if it dies, I can just reanimate it again. Oh, he dares to! Wow, okay. Well, definitely blocking. <laughs> okay. Well... Well, we're gonna, we're gonna draw three from this, so... Yeah. And uh, let's see here. We're gonna draw and discard. We don't need this, I don't think. Ooh, Royal Sarge. No attacks. Triple draw. <laughs> that felt pretty good. That pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, he, this guy had a lot of lands, though. He simply did not care. 
Maybe I'll get Hoon there. We'll see. I don't have many Borg sweeps as I've said. Maybe I should start taking over the Love Strike Beast there. Let's see what he has. He goes in with everything. Okay. Uh, I will definitely block this. Oh, does he have enough buffs? Grimrock Knight. Oh, why did he not buff the end rolling? Okay. That's interesting. Uh, actually, we're out of uh, reanimated spells. Hopefully, we can find something with this. Yes, we can. Okay, discard a this. And now we pretty much need to start stealing his uh, his bassness here. His love truck beast, or do we steal another land? Or the crawler pooner. I mean, we can block this anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's better to have an other untapped blocker, I think. No attacks. Go three more. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> We might still get blown out there. Yes, uh, right amount of cards there. Okay. Oh, he really wants that dead. Why? Why does he want that dead? Okay. Well, block here and block here. And take two. Yes. Okay, so now we can. This is the cheapest creature, so I guess we'll put this down. And we ship the Scholar Rages. And other blood for both of Sacrifice this. Agent of Treachery. And I guess Rick Smarty. And yeah, we, we continue stealing this. <laughs> this guy comes down. And Rick Smarty goes. And we're fabled. We can probably steal everything else here, I think. Okay. And three more. Okay, now we have Fire Zone Mansion. That's actually amazing. I guess this goes, because we have everything now. We have pretty much everything. Pretty much. I mean, we could still... He could still deal with us. But I doubt it. The Innkeeper has kept him alive. Maybe I should have stolen the Innkeeper. Maybe. But... But, but, can I do more with Fire Zone Mansion now I think about that? I have so much mana. I think I can do more without it, honestly. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, this is another Blood for Bones. <laughs> okay, this guy. I guess this. Um, I think we start stealing this green now. Do we have another Agent of Treachery in the graveyard? No, we do not. Okay. So we need this. Uh, it's not... Ideal to play Fire Zone Invention, right? So... I guess we do this, and we steal his Bone Grudge Giant. I think that's what we do. Return this, return this. Or do we steal another land? I mean, he can't do much without another land. We steal... yeah, steal this. Rick Smarty. Ship the... Uh, I don't think we need Fire Zone Invention anymore. So that can go. Uh, no attacks. And draw three. And discard fires, fires, and merchant. We are low though, we have 26 cards. We need our dragon there to finish him off. That's our big finisher. Okay, hidden treachery. Man, this guy drew lands though. Think about it, we all have all his lands. It still wasn't enough. Okay, well, a little double lock, I guess. Does he have another deep spell? not okay well <laughs> it's gonna be so sad well Aiden Dredger I'll steal that I guess <laughs> he's like really really now <laughs> yes that's just how it has to be we need our dragon honestly. we don't have a dragon that's hurting us we need our dragon where's our dragon Okay, put down this. And discard. Sure, discard this. Ah, sure. Put down this. And now I think we can actually start going in for the first time. We have almost all his lands. How many of his lands are there? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of his lands. Discard a card. Uh, two more. Sure. But we're down to 20 cards. 
Oh my god, he's drawn a lot of lands though. <laughs> Should I start stealing the actual? Maybe. Okay. Fires of Invention number one million. Well, I think we can play this. <laughs> we can get back our blood for once. Two of them. And... <laughs> It's like, this doesn't end, does it? <laughs> Globally. Man, this deck has been good. I mean, some weird matchup, I must say. We have uh, had some weird matchups. Ah, no Discord outlet. Nah, I didn't want to go. This is probably better. Probably better. I think it's probably bad. Give this. Ship one agent. Smack. Smack. I mean, this honestly feels like. It's like a good deck, honestly. Like, Reanimator is back. And it's so good late game when you get you start getting these effects off and off. You can just return everything from the graveyard. You can steal, 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 steal. And it's so annoying. That I love. That's probably what I love most about this deck. It's how annoying it is. When I can annoy my opponent. I feel so good. In here. My dark heart feels good. Beats. Beats to... To them suffering. That's what it does. Esper? Dance of the mouse? Oh, dance of the mouse. Well, I have to be a little bit wary of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, that thing. Because we don't have any <laughs> shot to move around around anything. Like that, so. so if he has... That thing which makes a sacrifice every turn, that's very, very good for him. If he, for instance, now has Oath of Kaya into that thing, it might be done. <laughs> it might just be done. There's Oath of Kaya into. Oh, what's it called? Doomfortal. Oath of Kaya into Doomfortal, and we pretty much. can pretty much pack it up. Ah, well, we, can, we could wait it out, I guess. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. Because now, if he plays Doomfortal, at some point he will have to sacrifice this, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to maybe. <laughs> have to maybe play. Okay. Well. We want Fire Zone Vengeance now. Definitely. Can we play this? I don't know how this works. If I go into this. Can I play this now for the spectacle cost? Can I cast with spectacle? No, I can't. Oh, because it's an ability. Oh well. Oh well. Put this on. Can I have too many of these? I mean, it probably runs Mortify, so. It's probably good to have two of them my thinking. Okay. Search is there. What will he have? Uh, what could it be? It could be Doom for Toll, it could be Guild Globe, it could be... Kaya something? Planeswalker? Teferi? Probably this gonna die. Or get bounced. Very, very likely. Oh, that's actually not the worst. Because we have two of them. One can go. One can safely go here. Uh, we're going with this. Smack. Uh, we pay the lifer. We pay the spectacle cost. One, two, three. Hmm. Uh, I guess we put this down. The problem is if he clears the board. Don't have much, or do I don't not put down anything? I guess we could put down one Rix Mari. One Rix Mari. Yeah, one Rix Mari. <laughs> oh, this card. Uh, the merchant can go. Okay, no reanimated spells. This might be where we fall here. Might be. If he board clears here and we. Or forced to sacrifice on Fire's Invention. Oh, Without the pretty bare bones, I must say. Pretty bare bones. But then he has to sacrifice the Prison Realm or the Doom for Dold. Prison Realm is not super good in this deck, also. Unless he has another way. Mm, probably Board Clear, eh? Looks like it. Board Clear. Which one is it? Is it Time Wipe or is it gonna be Kai's Wrath? You can play both. Bounces to fires? Bounces to... Rick's... That doesn't make any sense. 
pluses? Doesn't make any sense either. Okay, bounces this. I lose a Rick Smiley. Sure. But mm, that's not super good for him. He needs to deal with one more Rick Smiley then. What? Uh, what's gonna name though? I could name Merchant of the Vale, I guess. Merchant of the Vale? Oh, we could have Royal Science, but does he know that we have Royal Science, though? If he's really a, a man of great foresight, he will name uh, Royal Science here. Because he could see that these colors are perfect for Royal Science. Is he gonna be that clever, though? Two man lich, that doesn't work, mister. Doesn't work that way. Get nerdy. <laughs> doesn't work that way. Oh, Agent of Treachery, so we can steal. We can steal his Doom foretold. Can steal his doom foretold and go in and kill Teferi. That's actually pretty amazing. Oh, we can actually put down this also. That's even better. Do so this, do this. Turn the Aiden Treachery. Steal the doom foretold. Kill the Teferi and go in face with the rest. And now we're presenting lethal. And he has to sacrifice either. I usually just source the spyglass and goes here. That's just how he has to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's actually pretty good for us. So now if he cast rats, we could just sacrifice our fire invention and get then get our royal science back. That's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Fire invention goes. <laughs> we just keep winning! Platinum 2?! I don't think we lost a single game with this deck. Have we had... It's still like 10 games in a row or something. I have to check the recordings, but yeah. Memory shout out! Memory, memory shout out! Thank everyone so much for watching. We're soon gonna see the list of members, but... The, the, the names have been scrambled, not in the correct order because I've lost track of who got member first because everyone keeps changing names. Anyways, here they are! <laughs> Blue Dragon, Adam Alexis, Magic Pistolman, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M, The Soft Pillow, Snick, Shamanix, Spencer Ofsty, Alex Mikem, Nathaniel Nissen, Laser Set to Stun, Eric0234, Jeff Henry, Leaning Into It, Michael W, Pocky U, Matthias Porley, Toplets Investments, Kronos1107, W Lutz1978, P.E. Lebel, uh, Peter Gold, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Wizza, Qdelate23, Way, Mesomok1, Ye Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Weak, Rainbird2002, 4K Television, July Moonlight Stock, Drake Edge2000, Dave Steer, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Rage Dot, Simple Human, Badass You One Up, John Domian, Gesuzaki, Own77, Sam Williamson, Ellie Curtis, Noah VH, MC Homers, uh, Thasix, uh, Fumiaki Kinoshita, Across Ascending, Jcap, Wookie Floran, Dam Drone, Steve Drabinski, Strange Brontides, Donkey Kong, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Denley, Santa John, Steiner Bakken, The McDunkin, Klo, Robacuna, Chase Closed, uh, John Lacava, III, Honza Kos, Jingai, uh, Michael Capito, Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Aaron Noble, Adam Alexis, Batsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callistus Missile, Carlo Palumbo, Clow, uh, Coop Cooper, Coop the Grace, Dan Goodsell, uh, Davin Hanel, David Newman, DBK Drummer, Dingo Scrub, Dr. Jadron, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stephenson, Jeff Georgia, Infinite Draw, Xavier Diaz, Kazon, Magneto, Miss and Mrs. Smith, Neo Terror, Ninja Long Gnome, Orango, Mango, Piotr Stalorsk, Pote, Prince Mokbakok, Esquire, Rainbow, Cake, Serge Karmarov, Super Noodle 7, Wonder Bread, and X Covenant X. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for all your likes. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for everything. <laughs> and see you next time. Also, thank you. All the bad shoulders on Patreon. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subly doubly, scribbly doubly.